Brothers and sisters, welcome back to the fourth session. And we are going to talk, continue, and talking with the, um, on the table of, uh, uh, of nations, and we'll continue with the Shemites. Uh, the last um, session, we, we talk about um, the sons of Shem, Elam, Oshur, Arphaxad, Lod, and Aram. And we said the sons of Aram was Oz. We mentioned that Oz was um, the land of Oz where Job lived. And then we have Hol, and we have Kether and Meshach. And Arphaxad was the father of Sheila, and Sheila was the father of Eber. The two sons were born to Eber. One was named Peleg, because in his time, um, the earth was divided, according to um, Genesis um, 10.25. And his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan was the father of Almarad, Shelef, Hazarmab, Beth, Jera, and in verse 27, Haduran, Uzal, Dikla, 20, verse 28 he said, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Haliva, I mean Havila, Jobab, and all these were the sons of Joktan. And verse 32 said, These are the sons of Noah according to their lines and descendants, our descents within their nation from uh, these um, nations spread all over the earth after the flood. So, um, the question is, could the people of color be are in the Bible? And then the question that many people have asked over the years, well, we know that the Bible, the, the original text of the Bible was written to the people of color. Could the positions and rank of people of color include Abraham and Moses, or Moshe? And this is a question that people have been asking. Well, the answer is yes. What about David and Solomon? What kind of people did the ancient Hebrew intermix with in Egypt or the Holy Land? What kind of people? Well, we will see as we continue in this study. It said, also, well, Shem means literal meaning word name of our renowned father of the Shemitic people. Remember that the Shemitic term, our terminology, does not mean um, uh, race, the Shemitic race of people. Is it talk about the sons of, that, that they, they, they were Shemitic because the language that they spoke was Shemitic. 
uh, the languages are the dialects. The Hebrew, Amharic, Arabic, uh, and um, Syriac, and some of the Eastern African dialects, and few of the Western African dialects, all of these were part of what you call the Shemitic um, languages. Uh, and so the people, because of, of that region, the people were referred to as Shemitic. So when, when, when you talk uh, about the, the present day Jews and you, you, you talk against um, some of the ideology and some of what it st stands for, um, they'll say you are anti-Semitic. But um, I am Semitic because my parents were Semitic. Okay? It's not just for the white people who, who call themselves Jews. Okay? And this is no racism that I'm talking about here. I'm just talking about facts. All right? So, so um, the, the, the sons of Shem, Elam, remember I'm just going over them again. Sons were Shushan, uh, Elam, his, his son was Shusham, and Elam means eternity. And uh, Makol and Haman, uh, Elamite, the Persian people, uh, okay, were also a part of, of, that, of that family. A sure, a step, or strong. And these are sons, were, you know, a sure, his son were um, Myros and Mokel. And these are referred to as the, um, the Assyrian and Northern Iraqi people. Um, so, just remember, um, Aram exalt sons were Ostrol, um, Gather, and Marsh. And um, the Arameans, the Assyrians, Lebanese, um, other related groups and remnants were throughout Asia and the Middle East. Um, uh, you know, there was no Middle East and North Africa. North Africa was there, but there was no Middle East because all of that area was Africa, okay? All of the area that they call Middle East were Africa. All right. And um, so the, the, the question is, was Abram, a Hebrew, was he a Jew? And Abram was neither an Israelite nor a Jew. He was a Hebrew and he was called, his name was changed from Abram to Abraham and uh, the Hebrew people uh, are the descendants of Abraham um, through Jacob. And, and so um, those who interchange the word Jew and, and Israelite call Abraham a Jew. And um, though Abraham was neither an, an Israelite nor a Jew, the word Jew was not used in the Bible until nearly a thousand years after Abraham. So we got to remember that. Present day European Jew, Ashkenazim and the Sephardim Jew, okay? They teach that Abraham was the founder of the Jewish religion. They also believe Abraham was a Caucasian. According to Genesis chapter 12, verse one to three, now it said, listen what it said. The Lord our Yahuwah said to Abraham, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. In verse two, he said, and I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and him who dishonors you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So this was the promise that our Yahuwah gave to Abraham. 
okay, in, in chapter 11, verse 2. And as the people migrated from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. Abraham was a descendant of Eber, one of Shem's great grandson, and he lived in Ur of the Chaldean. Nimrod, Cush's son, founded that region that had been known to be a people of the black or mixed race. During Abraham's time, the Elamites appear to have been dark skinned or a mixed race of people with, you know, woolly hair. Uh, so I don't like to say kinky, but woolly hair. Okay? Uh, so Abraham, you know, he launched out by faith as he was commanded by our Elohim. And, um, and he journeyed to the land of Canaan in, in according to, to um, Genesis chapter uh, 12, verses 4 through 9. Abraham uh, took his household and his livestock to Egypt and lived there for a while to avoid the great famine in Canaan according to um, Genesis chapter 12, verses 10 through 20. Abraham returned to Canaan and separated from his nephew, Lot. Abraham um, rescued Lot um, from a battle. But if you look, when he returned, it was um, Genesis chapter 13, verses 1 through 13, and where he, 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 he captured, rescued um, Lot, who had been captured. Um, that was in, in Genesis chapter 14, 12 through 16 okay and uh, if you remember the story between him and Lot um, that Lot servants um, that look over his cattle they always argue with Abraham's servant about water about the wells and so on and Abraham reminded him that they were family they shouldn't be fighting there was Lot's of, of, of property, that lands were everywhere. So Abraham gave him the opportunity to choose. He said, "You choose." He says, "The land is there. Choose where you want to live, where you want to go, and, and you know, you're free." So um, Lot looked down in the plain of Sodom and he saw the well, green grass and watered, you know, land and you know, wells and water. Everywhere he said, We'll choose down there. So he chose down there, and over a period of time, there was um, a war, uh, and, um, and so he was captured in that. And Abraham had to get his armed men, and he went down um, to, 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 um, to, to, to rescue him. Okay? So he rescued him in a country to um, Genesis chapter 14, verses 12 through 16. Um, then Abraham um, met Melchizedek, king of Salem and, and priest of the Most High, Yahuwah. And, you know, he, 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 um, he, he, he fed Abraham and blessed him, you know, after he won the battle. And in, a, in a Genesis chapter 14, um, verses 18 to 20, and it, it talks about the fact that um, Abraham gave tithe to Melchizedek. Uh, we're going to stop here and um, ask you to uh, like this channel and also subscribe, okay? Blessing to you and walk with the king. Bless you.